chrome grill just uh, touches it off. Coming around the side of the car, we have uh, factory 17 inch alloy wheels with really good tyres on. Juco's in great order. Apart from the protectors on the front of the car, they've also added windshields to the both front doors, driver and passenger. Coming around to the rear of the car, the tailgate is uh, a minor little blemish which will probably polish out. It does have reverse sensors standard. The car's in quite good order, not, not a scratch really on it. Around the left hand side, the Juco, very similar to the driver's side, very clean. Not really a mark to be seen on this car. Alloys are in very good order. Um, minor little scuff mark, but apart from that, no, really good. Coming around to the front of the car, you won't be able to open the bonnet on a, a Focus without the keys. Basically, behind your Ford emblem here, we just need to open up the Ford emblem. One turn of the key to the left will release the bonnet. Second turn of the key to the right will open it up. Once it's opened up, uh, we just find ourselves with a little two-litre four-cylinder motor, um, and this gives you eight litres per 100 k. So fuel consumption is extremely low in this car. It's actually an ideal first car for somebody. Uh, based on the fact it's a 55-litre fuel tank, you're going to get close to 600 kilometres to a tank of fuel. Moving to the back of the car where the tailgate section is, just a really simple pneumatic release there. Up comes the tailgate, gas struts, parcel shelf as well. Flexibility once again being our hatch is that uh, you have the option of dropping the seats down. Really simple setup there, just to open up a bit more extra space for storage if you need it. Now sitting in the interior of the little Focus, um, we'll run through a few of the features this car does have. Power windows and mirrors are standard in the little ZTEC Focus, so all of those controls on your armrest on the driver's door. On the leather wrapped steering wheel we have the cruise control operation buttons on your left hand side you're on and off and on your right hand side just to set the desired speed when you reach it. Uh, the steering wheel is uh, adjustable vertical and also telescopic. So you can set yourself up where your uh, comfort's spot on. Just down on the side, this stalk at the bottom is to control all your stereo. Really high quality stereo unit in the focus. So you just have your volume controls there to adjust how loud you want it. And then of course you can just change stations once again without taking your eyes off the road just by the stalk. Uh, being a European car, all your uh, controls for your indicators are on the left. All your controls for the wipers are on the right hand side. Moving into the centre console section, as we mentioned, premium sound system in the focus, really good quality uh, music. All your air conditioning and heating controls in the centre. It's a pretty straightforward, simple setup in the little focus. Uh, a really easy car to uh, set up to the way you want it and to drive as well. Just in your automatic, just straight down into drive. Once again, does have the sports mode option there as well where you can manually change through the gears by the actual stick. And just up on the menu button where the indicators are located, you'll notice a menu button. Basically, this is just to control your trip computer that sits on the dashboard as well, giving me outside air temperature, quite, quite fresh outside, 14 and a half degrees. Give me average speed readout, average fuel consumption, etc. Give you a range of distance to empty as well. Also, with regard to airbags, we have front and, uh, front airbags, driver and passenger, also side airbags as well. The interior finished in a fabric, and uh, as you'll notice by, by the uh, look of the seats and even the carpets on the floor, it really shows that this car is extremely low mileage for its age, just for the quality of the interior. It's been really well maintained, and just with regard to maintenance, a, a quick flick through the books actually vindicates the quality of the car. You see that the servicing has been done at every interval required all the way through to the current invoice 43,912 kilometres in April this year. Cars only travelled 46,000 kilometres now. So for a 2006 model motor car, extremely low mileage and extremely well maintained. So I hope this gives you a really good idea of the quality of the car. Ideal first car for a young daughter or son. 
If you've got any further questions, don't hesitate to contact us on 9907 0555. And thanks very much for the time you took to watch the video.